What's up you guys and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be testing out some Asian snacks as you see in the thumbnail. So let's get started. I'm going to be rating all of these snacks out of 10. First I'm going to try what is usually my favorite, the onion rings. Let's get started off easy and then we crank it up a notch. Slow. So onion rings, let's go. It actually tastes very normal, very salty, oniony of course, the, the flavor is very strong onion wise, but pretty good, kind of reminds me of a snack from, from uh, my home country, it's called Tasty Snacks, very similar to that in terms of flavor. Um, out of 10, I think I'll be rating this a 7 because it's pretty good. Next up, let's go from salt to sweet. Next up is this one. It appears to be a sweet one. I don't really know the name of it, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see. Okay, let's just go into it. All right, I got that one wrong. It appears to be a shell and the, the thing is on the inside. Let's try again. There you go. So, you open the shell. It appears to be a, a peanut on the inside. Well, not a peanut, some kind of nut. It is actually not bad. It's more salty than sweet. It has some sugar on it, but not so much. I think I'll rate this one out of 10, probably a six for sure. Cause I'm not really a fan of sweet snacks. I'm more a fan of salty snacks or spicy snacks. Moving on. Next up, I'll be trying the Krupak. If that's what you call it. Krupak by uwalk.com. Let's get into it. Ooh. Smells like sushi. Okay. All right. That has a that has a burst of flavors. Sweet, sour, salty. But good. I like it. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Chinese chips, the ones that you. It's like, it looks like a plastic and then you throw them in the oil and they boil and they turn into like a, what it looks like this kind of vibe. But it's nice. I like it. Hmm. Ah, prawns crackers. I'm pr probably going to die because I'm allergic to seafood. So let's hope I don't die. Out of 10, I'll probably give this like an eight because it's, it's, it's yummy. All right. Next up, I'm going to be trying this kind of corn stick or chip thing kind of reminds me of another snack in my country called cheese sticks I thought it was going to be salty but it's not salty wait a minute now it's salty mm -hmm. all right so these these snacks are tricky you get a second one just to get mm -hmm. okay it does kind of remind me of cheese sticks with texture but flavor very nice very nice flavor um not gonna be my favorite though sorry out of 10 i'd probably rate this one a seven yeah seven let's get into the next one let's change it up with this one though i'm going to try <clears throat> wasabi chips I'm not really a fan of wasabi, but I'm going to get into it anyways. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. Weapon of choice. Get it. Yes. Okay. Mm. 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 
Okay. All right. Looks like a normal baked chip, but let's try it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Wasabi hit really strong. Like I'm tasting sushi again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very strong. Jesus. No. No. Mm-mm. Out of 10, I'm gonna give this a five, for sure. Off the bat, a five. Moving on to the next one. The last two are spicy ones, but it gets tricky, but just not yet. This one is a caramucho, hot chili, spicy and tasty. It, apparently it's Japan's number one spicy snack. There you go. Looks like another simple big chip again. What do you think? What do you reckon? You think I'll be able to? Hey, my first pack was able to open my hands. Spicy, my favorite stuff. Now there you go. Okay, no. <coughs> All right, this one is definitely spicy. <coughs> yeah. Spicy, but just for the sake of the video. No, no, no. All right, the flavor is top notch. The spiciness, spicy is not my kind of thing, but it's it's nice. It, it tastes good. It makes you want more, but you're scared. You know that kind of thing, where you want to do something, you're scared, but you still want to do it because you know it's like enticing. Out of 10, I'll probably give this a nine and a half. This is, this is really nice. Let me go again, last one. <laughs> Caramucho. Okay. Last one, but not least. Let's go for it. Oh, this one has these notches. This one is called, this one is a rice seaweed snack. Seaweed chips. If you've never heard of it before, here you go. It's called, I'm going to try to pronounce this, Tao Kai Nao. Tao Kai Noi. Tao Kai Noi. Arigato. Let's get it. Let's get it. This one has matches, but it doesn't work. I still need, oh, there you go. Never mind. I got it. Ah. What the hell? one scares me a bit but I'm gonna try it just the look of it scares me I know it's seaweed but you know kind of reminds me of that scene in Madagascar movie it's seaweed on a stick yeah now I just need some um, seawater in a coconut shell to drink it and then spit it out okay let's go for it Holy crap. It re hold on. It reminds me of the fried fish my grandmother used to make for us when we were younger. Back home. Holy smokes, this is wicked. And it's so thin. Look at this thing. It's like a knife blade. Holy smokes, it looks ugly, but it tastes really good. It tastes like fish, like fried fish. All right, okay, okay. Okay, between these two, I think it's a very stiff competition. All right, in terms of looks, this one beats it. But this one, this flavor has memory. Like this brought up when I was like about maybe nine or 10 years old. Whoa, all right. Out of 10, this gets a nine, for sure. It doesn't beat the other chip, but it gets a nine. It's a, yeah, nice, interesting. So, if you guys enjoy that, any bit of that, I will be trying out some other countries, because apparently, where the place where we bought it from, they have different sections. 
of different places where you can buy snacks from them or let me know in the comments below which one you think you would like to try and um, if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it subscribe to my channel drop a comment below until the next one see ya